security analyst is typically an entry-level role that might interest you as you prepare to enter the security field. The role generally focuses on monitoring networks for security breaches, developing strategies to help secure an organization, and even researching IT security trends. In previous courses, we discussed log monitoring and SIM tools. Having a solid foundational understanding of how to use those tools will certainly be useful in this role. Another role that might interest you is information security analyst. This role generally focuses on creating plans and implementing security measures to protect organizations, networks, and systems. Earlier in the program, you learned about controls and frameworks that can be used to develop security plans and procedures, as well as how to use SIMs and packet sniffers to identify risks. That knowledge will be beneficial when it comes to developing plans and determining the best tools to strengthen an organization's security posture. Finally, we'll explore the Security Operations Center Analyst role. Security Operations Center Analyst, also known as a SOC Analyst, is another role you might find exciting. This role generally focuses on ensuring security incidents are handled rapidly and efficiently by following established policies and procedures. Earlier in this program, we discussed security playbooks and how they are unique to each organization. We also covered the importance of being able to follow the processes outlined in playbooks to respond to security events or incidents. That knowledge will certainly help you stand out as a potential candidate for this role. There are many more job roles that you may be interested in. A great way to find more of these roles is to create an account on various job sites and search for cybersecurity positions. A few well-known job sites in the United States and internationally are ZipRecruiter, Indeed, and Monster Jobs. Each of these sites have hundreds of open job listings with roles, responsibilities, and skill set requirements posted under the job title. How exciting is it that we're now discussing jobs and sites that you can use to apply for them? It's important that you do your research before applying to any position. Gather plenty of information about the company, the job role, as well as required and preferred skills. This will help prepare you for a potential interview by knowing exactly what the employer is looking for and how your skills align with the employer's expectations. This will also help you align your own values and passions with the organization's mission and vision. But before you can apply for a security job, it's important to create a resume that will catch an employer's attention. Project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to meet the project requirements and achieve the desired outcome. It's possible that you've been project managing every day on some level without even knowing it. In this course, you'll learn how to hone those skills to become a truly great project manager. And the awesome thing about project management is that it spans a lot of industries and company types, and it doesn't require deep technical knowledge. This means that any job or life experience you've gained so far will help you in building those skills to become successful in a project management career. Imagine that you're preparing for a storm. You've received notification that a storm is coming. You prepare by gathering the tools and materials you'll need to stay safe. You make sure your windows and doors are secure. You assemble a first aid kit, tools, food, and water. You're prepared. The storm hits and there are powerful winds and heavy rain. The storm is using its force to try and breach your home. You notice some water leaks and begin patching them quickly in order to minimize any risk or potential damage. Handling a security incident is no different. Organizations must prepare for the storm by ensuring they have the tools to mitigate and quickly respond to outside threats. The objective is to minimize risk and potential damage. As a security analyst, you'll work to protect your organization and the people it serves from a variety of risks and outside threats. And if a threat does get through, 
you and your team will provide a solution to remedy the situation. To help you better understand what this means, we'll define security and discuss the roles of security professionals in organizations. Let's start with some definitions. Cybersecurity, or security, is the practice of ensuring confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information by protecting networks, devices, people, and data from unauthorized access or criminal exploitation. You learn that project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to meet the project requirements and achieve the desired outcome. So, how does that actually happen? Well, that's where you come in. Project managers usually follow a process that involves planning and organizing, managing tasks, budgeting, and controlling costs, and other factors so that the project can be completed within the approved budget and time frame. Let's break these down into examples of responsibilities that you might find in a job listing for a project management role. We'll start with planning and organizing. One responsibility that falls under the umbrella of planning and organizing is making use of productivity tools and creating processes. During the planning and execution of a project, you might need to use certain tools and develop processes to improve information sharing across the team. You may also need to create plans, timelines, schedules, and other forms of documentation to track project completion. And you'll usually need to maintain those documents throughout the entirety of the project. The next task is budgeting and controlling costs and other factors. As the project is underway, changes to the plan and budget are bound to come up, believe me. This will require you to monitor and manage the budget, track issues, and risks as they arise and manage quality by mitigating those issues and risks. One way to do this is by removing unforeseen barriers that come up. Now, by barriers, we mean things that can get in the way of project progress. For example, if your teammates lack the resources needed to complete a task, you might identify that issue or barrier up front, escalate the issue to a stakeholder, and work to secure the resource so your team can move forward. Another huge piece of the project manager's role is managing tasks. A project task is an activity that needs to be accomplished within a set period of time by you, your team, or your stakeholders. Keeping track of tasks is a great way to help manage the team's workload and ensure that things are getting done. Keeping track of tasks is also a great tool for demonstrating progress to people outside the immediate team, like your stakeholders. Back when I was a program manager in student development here at Google, one of our goals was to create pathways for students who identify with communities that are underrepresented in the technology industry. A large part of my day-to-day -day responsibilities involved working with two separate engineering teams to create our technical curriculum. To manage the tasks associated with this project, I created separate project trackers for each team that outlined the vision for the curriculum. These trackers kept both teams in the loop about the timeline for delivery, the categories and subcategories for work, and the team members assigned to each task. I also made sure to update our stakeholders every step of the way. By actively managing tasks throughout the project lifecycle, I was able to keep tabs on everyone's work and efficiently inform stakeholders, which allowed us to achieve our project goal with minimal issues.